Hey guys, it's Narelle here and welcome back to a new video. This is going to be a sketchbook update to a sketchbook I finished a month ago, I believe. So we're just going to get started with this because I don't want this to be so long. So on the front is a drawing of my character Usa because I don't draw him enough. So I'm like, I got to give him love. So here is Osangwu because Osangwu and here is my character Firm because this is a part of a drawing request that I got from JMI and I really love the line art in this one. Here's a drawing of Victor and Yurio because I really wanted to work more with fuller bodies in this sketchbook and also line art so I'm actually really happy how this sketchbook did come out. So here are some sketches of Naoya that I did in class and honestly my first class I could get away with murder because the teacher really doesn't care for what we do in that class as long as we get our work done and as long as we make good grades she's pretty happy with that so yee and now he's really fun to draw so I draw him a lot so I actually bleeped out the name here because it had my sister's best friend Instagram handle and if a person draws on my sketchbook I don't know if I should show their stuff without their consent so um this is his character Adam and here is Alka I didn't not intentionally plan that so no but I really wanted to work um, more on him from the side because I cannot get his hair right from the side so I'm going to remove this drawing and turn the page so right here is a sketch of Kiradi Pamu Pamu because I have not had one of these sketchbooks in like four years so I kind of wanted to test how watercolor works and water works on the paper so I know how to go about it later on this is the dump page because I was an art block around this time so here is Aiko eating a hamburger because she's tired of working with Nick so she's just like I'm gonna rest today and um here's a sketch of Nick Iko and Rohe I did in class because I had this cute idea for them to take a selfie together and I kind of really want to execute this in a drawing so it's always nice to keep your sketches that you like that you do in class in your sketchbook because maybe they'll end up being fuller pieces and here's my punked Bakugo because a while ago I saw a lot of people punkifying him and this is kind of my design and a lot of you guys really liked it on Instagram so um ah and here is Boruto I drew this for a video but I don't like this drawing as much as I did so I actually deleted the video so I think I'm just gonna go about that video in a different way and here is Bakugo again and and I also completed Hero Academia Season 2. I freaking love Season 2. My favorite episode. I can't really say because I don't know if it's a spoiler, but... I'm just going to say it anyway. My favorite episode is the episode when Bakugo fights Uraraka or Ochako. That is my favorite episode, honestly. So this is school notes, uh, and this is all about IP address and subnetting. You guys don't need to learn about that. And this is a picture I did for someone on Instagram that I've been needing to send to the person. Um, She won a free picture because my sister hijacked jacked my Instagram and put a post on you know if you say something nice I'll I can choose to comment that will get a free picture and no I did not take advantage of people's niceness I went about it in a fair way and did the randomizer thing and she won and I appreciate everyone's comments who left a comment on that picture because it really put a smile on my face um here is Zexion from Kingdom Hearts because I wanted to test out gouache on this paper and gouache is like bae I need to buy more gouache I'm so upset at myself because I bought watercolors and I'm like Nairal, why didn't you just buy gouache? Because honestly, I like gouache more than watercolor. But um, here is another fan art of that song Eden by Rock Some Skiing. <laughs> I told you guys, I cannot stop doing fan art for that freaking song. And here is more sketches of now. Yeah, I did in class because that class is just my drawing time. <laughs> but um, the this is just Nalia's morning wake up because Nalia is not a morning person. He's really grown 
grumpy in the morning. So, um, yeah, so I actually really liked how this one turned out. And this is school notes because I don't bring paper with me because I am in computer classes. So you really don't need paper for computer classes. But since this is like math stuff, it's nice to write it down because I kind of forgot all about this, honestly. So it was two pages of that. And here's a sketch that I did while listening to two guys talk about how much they drink alcohol on weekends. And I'm like, guys, I don't need to know how much you consume alcohol on the weekend. So I kind of just drew this to kind of pass the time. And I will be right back because my phone is running out of space. Alrighty, I am back. So the next page is honestly one of my favorite pages because it's actually a redraw of a drawing I did of Billy and Julie from the TV series Bakugan ba Battle Brawlers and they're like my favorite couple ever. I will find the picture I did originally so you guys can see the difference and I improved a butt time like oh my gosh I really saw how I improved mainly body positioning wise and anatomy I kind of got the correct way of drawing faces and all that good stuff you'll see it in the original and I'm just like yes I've been meaning to color this digitally but I guess I'm never going to get around to it so here's Rohei with his hair kind of pulled back because I'm thinking about making that a hairstyle for him but since he has curly hair it's kind of hard to kind of work with that so yeah and I did draw a leg and I didn't like it so I kind of cropped it on Instagram because I like this a lot better than that. So yeah. So here are some doodles I did because our lights went out and I'm like, I'm still going to draw. So here's Naru walking and there's Etna from the sky up. And here's Alkaga. Ah, I love them. They're like my life. And I drew this while our lights are out as well. I did the sketch and then I lined it when the lights were on because I am not doing line art in the dark. And this is when I was designing my character Richie. So you'll see his final design later. And here is Rohei in his school outfit because yes, guys, they go to school. I kind of don't mention that, but they do. <laughs> so this is Rohei in his. I need to draw Hiroki in his because I don't know. I kind of want to make school outfits correlate because I notice I do it different. But if they're going to the same school, I need to make the outfits look identical. So here's some tribute fan art to a singer named Kay. He's from the band Pay Money to My Pain. And I love his music. His music really spoke to me. And he died, I think, two to three years ago. And oof, this man, this man, I actually redrew this because I wasn't satisfied with this one. Because obviously you can see the eyes with this one's taller than the other and I wanted to fix that but the redraw I did I didn't really like so I just came back to this one and what made me really happy a lot of visual K guys liked this image and I'm like that just makes me feel all warm and happy inside and this is a fail chibi of Suzuku from Meji Bray. I should redo this because I actually kind of really like it and this is the redraw so I don't know. I don't really like the stylized approach of this. So I kind of like the realistic one a lot better than this. Because you could tell it's him. And that one just kind of looks like a fan art. And this is Richie. His final design. And yes, I got to draw him a lot more. I don't draw him as much anymore. But I got to step up the game and draw more him and Lucas. Because they're so cute. So um, here's Naru in his fancy smile. Smancy clothes, bleh, fancy smancy clothes. I cannot speak today, but um, this is still a work in progress because again, they're royal, so I gotta make outfits that make them look royal. So yes, yeah, so I think this is gonna work. And here is Richie with Lucas because they're boyfriends, and he's Dominica's character, and he is the son of a bakery couple, and he's trying to cook like his parents which is like trying to get to their skills and he always has Lucas over to kind of taste his breads and stuff and that's why he's like is it good does it taste okay and he's like it's delicious so yeah I like how that turned out and here's another realistic doodle 
Um, her name is a Yusei Kazoe, and I love her song Pretty Good Day. So I just kind of stopped the video and just drew what I saw, and it didn't turn out that bad. And here is Usab. This is his human form, guys, and that's how he looks in the storybook because he gets trapped in a storybook and he becomes Usa because the only two species in the storybook is the bunnies and the cats. So, um, he gets turned into a bunny. So that kind of explains Usa's origins. And originally his sweater is just pink. And I was like, I want to experiment with it. So let me know if you like the pink and yellow. Because I think it looks a lot cuter, to be honest. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So this is a vid art. I'm not going to explain it because I don't like explaining my feelings. So we're skipping that. And me and my grandma are like upset with 90 Day Fiance. It's ridiculous to explain, but this is the one of the women on there. Her name is Anfisa. I don't really like her, but she's really pretty, so I kind of used her as a warm-up doodle. So, um, here's a drawing of Nick that I hate because I don't like how I did his hair. If I kind of just take off the little spikes, it looks like Nick, but I just don't like it. So, um, here's Hayden because I drew this in class because I really wanted to draw Hayden, so I did. So, e, And this is uh, Mama's character. And here is a very fabulous gay guy that was on this show called Jeremy Kyle. It's kind of like the, Euro the European version of Maury. And I have the time of my life watching that show. So, I did a piece dedicated to him. And here is Lisa, who sings Crossing Field from Sword Art Online. Because I'm obsessed with the English version. And... I think she's really cute, so I drew her. So here is a redrawn fan art of a Visual K artist named Taita Kazuhito. I call him Ten Ten because that's a nickname a lot of other people call him, but I hate this. So we're going to move along. And this is a Reuo piece that I have not shown Mama yet. I just don't like it because it's obvious mistakes and I'm not used to Juo's new hairstyle. So I think I'm just going to draw Juo until I get used to his new hair and then I'll draw more Reuo. So here's me too. Um, when Aiko met Nick and he kind of ran out of time to say that he liked her. So he's kind of like, shoot. And here is, why is my mind blanking? I don't know why. Here's Russell, <laughs> who is my mouse bay? He's so cute. He's actually adopted into a circus. So that's the reason why he's juggling balls because he's a juggler. And this is him kind of cleaning up his act because I wanted to do a fuller body version of him because I've never drawn him as much before. So now that he is shipped with Mama's rat character, Irvina, I'm just like, I must draw him all the time now. So, um, yes, and he's eating a bagel because bagels are his favorite food. And here is a legit 20-minute sketch of my male persona, Mamaru, because we were, me and my sister's best friend was sitting in one of our teacher's office and I legit had 20 minutes or 15 minutes left to do this. And I forgot what he looked like. So I'm just like scratching it down really fast and I'm like, I'm done. And by the time I finished, we had to leave. So I'm just like, yay. <laughs> so this is what inspired that little chibi drawing I did of him. So here's Vocaloid Ivana because she's so pretty and I love this song sad machine so i drew her this was drawn all with watercolor i believe so here is ren and usamaro and they're from the blue exorcist movie which made me cry 10 million times i love their relationship and i did this with a really cheap brush marker that I got from Dollar Tree and I love the effect that it gave me and I kind of want to redo this because I don't like how Ren came out but the whole piece is actually quite cute and I actually did thumbnails of what I wanted to do 
and these two were kind of pretty basic and I liked this one so that is what made it come out to be like this and the quote for this is called I'll never forget you because I will not say why because that's a spoiler so here's me too in his school outfit and this is a full body version of him and I'm taking it that long legs are just going to be in my style because whenever I draw my characters they have really long legs so I think long legs are just going to have to be in my aesthetic but he's asking how he's thinking about how to ask Aiko out so he's like hmm and he has Mitsu has like a side shave and his hair kind of goes over but it's his the side of his head is not fully shaved it's just that part so he does have hair there so yeah it's kind of confusing but yet it's not and this is me trying to draw my character Akane who is a alpha in the Megaverse world, and he looks nothing like this. I don't know why I drew that abomination, but the info is true. So here is Tatara and Hiodo from the anime Welcome to the Ballroom, because I'm trash for that show, literally, and I ship them. They're the ultimate OTP in that show. They're so cute! So this is actually a fan art of Mia from the band Meji Bray. Honestly, I had nothing to draw, so I'm like, like, let me just look up a photo of him and just draw it and that is what I did I think I did this with gouache because the blending is more solid and watercolor kind of gives me a tough time with blending but um yeah I like it I just don't like the background color I don't know why I chose yellow for this I kind of wish I did purple because it would have suited a lot better but I like it. It's actually a cute drawing nonetheless. So, yee. And here is Naru and Naru. He's putting makeup on Naru because he's just like, I'm gonna torture you from all the years of torture I've been through with you. And I really love this dynamic. I actually got the hand gesture for a um makeup brush, right? Because I didn't know how to do that. And I looked up a reference and I'm like, wow, I got it exactly right. So, yay. So, um... This is a drawing of Naru and Chio. I did ex I did all in class. And basically, he's hiding from Naru from his 16th birthday party because he hates formal events. So Chio finds him and he's like, shush, do not let him know I'm here. So I kind of really like Naru's face more than the whole piece because there's some obvious anatomy issues. But I kind of really like how it turned out. And Chio's dress designs are just going to have to be a work in progress because I suck with the de with um designing dresses so yeah and here's a TV of Alka and Lacey and I believe I drew this in my teacher's office and then I just came home and inked it because it's a lot easier that way and I love this I tried to color it digitally but it just didn't work so I'm just going to keep it as a line art so um this is where i gave up on the sketchbook because my motivation was like gone because i think this is when inktober started so excuse me for all of the bad drawings so this is rohe trying to put on a dress for Hiroki because this is when Hiroki had to cross dress for Rohei's dad because Rohei's dad didn't know his son was bisexual so um yeah he's complaining that the dress is hard to put on but he's he's just like taking off Kohori's clothes was easier than this so ye and I wanted to make a close-up shot of them and it just didn't work and here's Takano from Sekaiichi Hats Koi because I was talking to Nanaka at the time and I wanted to draw him so there he is and here's some more Rohei and Hiroki he's trying to learn the menu because he gets a job as a waiter and while Hiroki's around any natural in instinct would be like I want to mess with my partner so Rohei's like I totally want to kiss you right now and he's like not until you learn your menu <laughs> So, yes. And here's Aiko and Mitsu's eyes when she wears his Legend of Zelda sweater. And let me just say, this is not how Aiko would act like. And here's Suzuku from Meji Bray. Again, I just didn't have anything to draw, so I drew him. And here's Todoroki and the, um... 
Oh, what is that called? The games? The, um, I'm going to get that totally wrong, but it was when they had the competitions going on. Those outfits were life. I wish I could get it for, like, a, for, like, a cosplay type of thing, because I love those outfits. But, um, I really came around for Todoroki. Um, at first, I kind of had mixed feelings about them, but I really love how they ended the first half of season two, because it was just really sweet, and I'm just like, ah, I'm not going to ruin it for you guys who have not seen the second season of Hero Academia. And here's Papa Nice Show and more hip clothing, aka Neru's clothes, because Naoya basically is over at Neru's house all the time because he's with his cousin Hayden and they decide to dress up Nice Show because Nice Show wears yukatas all the time. And they're just like, whoa, he looks so awesome. So, ye. and that was a new pencil I got. I got a Scarlet, I can't remember the name of that pencil. It's a darker colliery pencil in red, and I really love it. So, um, here is Rohei that was inspired by the song Voice by 1OK Rock, and I thought the song fet fit him, not fet him, a lot. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and a lot of people were just like, Rohei, don't cry, because if you've seen Nick's bio, you'll know why he's crying, because something happened to his mom and it wasn't pleasant so um we're getting near the end of the sketchbook and i will be right back for the last time so i can finish this off without my phone dying all right so um here is Chio as a dancer because i was binge watching dance moms because i forgot that show was still going on so i think i watched like six episodes i believe because i got tired by the sixth one because i can only watch a hour-long show for so long until i'm like i'm done so here's assy something really funny i was watching a little skit that was done by two actors i really like his name is baba ryoma and his name is daisuke watanabe and they were actors in the takumi kun series and they did a uh, little skit where he was a new employee meeting his boss for the first time and he's like oh my gosh i'm so happy to work here all that good stuff and he copied on him and they their looks on their faces were so funny. I think I should screenshot that because, oof, it was so funny, but yet cute at the same time. So, um, this is actually when Naru goes in deep depression. I won't explain it too much, but it's about Chio, so that's the reason why he says, I don't miss her, and he's holding one of her handbags because she tends to leave a lot of her personal items at his house, so he has a lot of it in his room, and this is him as a close-up shot, so his hair gets really long, and he kind of looks unpresentable as a prince, and this is Aiko flipping people off because I felt that way, and so, yeah, you can kind of tell this is vent art because I was not having it that day. And this is the last page. I just drew my OC axis because I don't draw him at all. He just kind of got forgotten in the sea of unloved OCs. But um, I actually kind of really like how the face turned out and the anatomy. So I'm actually crying and hitting myself at the same time for not finishing this. But um, yeah, axis. So that's it for this sketchbook. I kind of felt like it kind of felt like this didn't have a lot of stuff in it, but yet it was enough. And my feelings with this sketchbook is that I just didn't want to get it just to make finished pieces. And yeah, I took two months with this. I started it in the middle of August and I finished October 9th. Now it's November. But anyways, I kind of didn't want to get this just for finished sketches because this is a mixed media paper. So it can take watercolor and all that good stuff. I kind of wanted to treat it as a regular sketchbook. But if I wanted to do something extra, kind of like this, I could do it extra while still doing what I love. So it was a really nice journey and I really love this sketchbook. So yes, that's basically it. And um, the stickers, I got these at Supercon, the convention I went to in July, which is 
I'm not going to count that <laughs> five months ago. And this is a Gerber Life sticker because my siblings used to call me the Gerber Life baby when I was younger. And I got this in the mail and they were like, Nyrell, mail for you. And I'm like, I see how it is. So, yep, yeah, that is it, guys. So that is all the sketchbooks I have to update you guys on. I have to do a drawing update because I haven't done one of those in ages. So I might just record that after I finish up this video but i'm a shut up for now so thank you guys for watching tell me what was your what was your favorite page in here if you can remember one and i will see you in my next video bye guys